Welcome to Dino Cloud. Our focus in this training will be sending a message to students, formative assessment, and segmented blocking. When you're logged into Dino Cloud and monitoring a class, select the bell icon on the right side of your screen. Click the blue send a message button to see a few options. Option one, send a locked message. Change your text to one of our default options or type a custom message. Choose to lock the student's device. Locked messages are a great way to get eyes up front. Use the optional timer to automatically release the students from their locked message. Choose which students should receive the message and click send. The second option for sending a message is an unlocked message. Change your text to one of our default options or type a custom message. Choose to not lock the student's device. Unlocked messages are a great way to deliver positive feedback to students without interrupting their work. Here's a tip. To launch a website on a student's device, simply paste a website's entire URL into a custom message. Don't forget to choose which students should receive your message and then click send. Here's a tip for Chromebook teachers. Teachers of students using Chromebooks have a third shortcut available within BigView. If a student using a Chromebook closes their browser, teachers will see a shortcut that says, send get back in browser. Clicking this shortcut will send this student a five second locked message, reminding them to return to using Google Chrome on their Chromebook. Next, choose the question mark icon on the right side of your screen. Click the blue ask a question button to see a few options. You can create a new question on the fly. Once created, questions are saved forever so you can reuse them at any time with any class. Click the green create a new question button write your question, and click send. This question will appear on each student's device as a push notification. As they respond, their answers will show up in real time on your teacher dashboard. Here's a tip. Like blocking plans, you can create questions before or after monitoring a class. From your class's dashboard, just look for the blocking plans tab in your black toolbar. Next, click the check mark icon on the right side of your screen. Click the blue request button. A prompt will appear on each student's device as a push notification. Once they respond, their answers begin showing up in real time on your teacher dashboard. Finally, Dino allows you to customize a blocking plan based on different groups of students. We call this segmented blocking. To access segmented blocking, click modify blocking. Along the top of this page is a purple button that says, turn on segmented blocking. Dino gives you two groups to work with. Each of your students will be in one of these two groups. One common use for segmented blocking is to ensure students are in a blocking plan during a quiz and then release them once they're finished. For group one, choose from an existing plan or build a new one. Leave all students selected in this group. For group two, choose a different plan, or just leave group two allowing all. Don't forget to click enforce. Once students are finished with their work, select modify blocking, choose group two, and select students' names here. This moves the student from group one's plan to group two's plan. Don't forget to click enforce. Here's a tip. Select the red end monitoring button to let Dino know you're no longer monitoring this class. This is important for two reasons. If you had a blocking plan in place, it will be released. Also, Dino collects data on how students are spending their time while you're monitoring. End monitoring tells Dino to stop collecting data for this particular class. Thanks for joining us. Remember, you can always use the chat feature in the bottom right corner to ask us a question at any time. We almost always respond within the same day. Thanks for using Dino Cloud.